So let's try and wind up here. And so now that our server is being called with um, for every method is um, every method invocation, we have a unary call. Now we can see well not there but right here. We can change um, make things a little bit cleaner here. What we really want to do is anything that is starts with this. Those are the only one we want to call for authentication one. So why don't we do that? We can just simply say, so if it's the mat service, uh, if that is the case, if IDX is equals to zero, it means that what we're dealing with is a unary call to the service. If we're not deal, if we're dealing with this, then we want to check and see if it passes our authentication. If we're not dealing with, if it's anything else for the mat for now, we'll just let it go through and call the method that's trying to call. We also have that second um, call that we want to check. And it doesn't, again, it doesn't really matter the order. So um, oh, or two is the one that we want for everything. So, um, yep. So or two. So let's do this again. So if it's odd, if it's, Everything, anything from this mat service, we want to call odd to. And if it's specifically the mod function, then no new variable here, then we want to do the other authorization. Now I give some really bad name to this. I call this one authorize and then this authorize two. Um, so that's why it's probably a little bit confusing. But I hopefully that you see that what we can do is basically do authentication for every mat service. And then if it is a match service, we're going to authorize it, check and see if it's authorized as um, the metadata to the key, the appropriate key that this function checked for. If that passes, we can check and see, is it the mod function? And then do the additional authorization for that. And if it's neither one of those two, then go ahead. But if both passes, then, you know, handle it. No, it doesn't really, this still work if we put this first because it's going to check, oh, does is this the mod function? Does it have the authorization it requires. And if it does, then go on and do the second um, test. If it doesn't, then we don't even, um, if it's not the mod method, then good. We go on and check and see if it's any one of the other methods. So either what order you put this in, this is not order dependent, it would still work. And so here, if we now um, go to da -da -da, da -da -da, five server, and then again, we haven't changed our client. So if we do go build, and so far everything that we've, um, everything that we're testing is supposed to work. That's because we don't have any clients or unary clients that are not um, authenticating. So of course this still works. Okay, this is a lot. Um, hopefully you've seen the progression from us simply in exercise one, add in the metadata ourselves and then looking for it on one function, which was the mod function. In exercise two, we kind of abstracted out a little bit. Um, but in three is where we say that our client should add that information to every call. And then in four, we prove that though the information is there by having the server putting an intercept on the server. And then in five, we use that intercept to authenticate and do the several level of authentication we want. I want to close out gRPC so we can then go on to talking about security. But if you still want to see this, this is very long. If you still want to see a better explanation of it or you don't understand it or you still have questions, let me know and I'll try and redo part of it or the whole thing if that makes sense. All right, take care. See you in section 24 when we start talking about security. Bye.